All right, let's go ahead and go back to our border lock again. Let's take a look at the last property we have on here. So first thing, let's turn on our full screen width. We don't uh, actually need these, so we'll turn these back off if you still have them on. All right, so the full screen width is what we'll still stick with on this one. There is a lock with movement. Lock with movement means that if you're using the auto move, uh, you can actually set it to lock and follow on that movement that happens with it. So what that means, let's go back out of here, is that if I drop in a auto move right here, and we'll set the visibility on, we'll turn on the auto move to do a uh, left and a right, we'll do two on this one. All right. So now what we're gonna do is when we push play, when we enable the auto move, it's gonna start moving. Now, at this point, if I go over to here, um, notice that my character just is here, but the camera doesn't force me over. Now, if I border lock, now what this means is that if I'm standing here, we'll just leave it here for the moment. When the camera gets to the player, when it gets uh, to the transform point, it's going to actually start pushing the player and keeping the player in the scene. So at this point, you've got that little extra force um, it says you need to keep on doing whatever you're doing in that direction. Alright, so there you go. So the border lock with the auto move on.